Hey everyone, welcome to Trading Cards on Rinks Around the League. And I have a very special guest. I have Sean Bell. Sean, hey Sean, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? We're doing we're doing good. Uh, are you ready to some, trade some cards? I absolutely am. <laughs> awesome. So I have to give a big shout out to Chris at Upper Deck. He's the one that hooked me up with some awesome uh, Upper Deck uh, cards here to open up with, with Sean here. And uh, of course, those who don't know or aren't aware, Sean Bell, of course, was a member of the 2004 and 2005 World Junior Team Canada uh, team. And uh, World Juniors are right around the corner here at Edmonton. And we're getting excited. Sean, are you uh, going to be watching some of the games? Oh, I don't think I'd miss it for the world. Maybe for the world. I am expecting a baby here in the next couple days. So that would be the one caveat, I guess. That's right. So at the time of taping here, at, Sean, you're you're just days away. Like I was joking off uh, earlier that uh, uh, I don't want any babies making their de debut on uh, Breaks Around the League. <laughs> <laughs> so you got big stuff on uh, coming up on the horizon. Um, the World Juniors are going to be in Edmonton. Now, um, like I said, Upper Deck sent me some cards here. Uh, so I sent uh, I sent you a pack. Uh, let's crack into it here. Um, why don't you le read off who you have um, your first four cards there? Got Nolan Allen, Ryan Suzuki. Now, this is a cool card. This is a this is a player and a half right here. Like first round pick to Carolina, obviously, and he's playing in Chicago right now for the Wolves. Um, if you ever want to see a cool intro. Check out the Chicago Wolves intro on YouTube. That is probably oh, yeah? the best intro in sports. And it's like, it's five minutes of fireworks and pyro. And I am convinced <laughs> at some point they're going to burn the Allstate Arena down. But uh, <laughs> no, this is, he's a he's a fantastic player. Guillaume Richard and Thomas Millet. So I'll start off. I've got uh, uh, Justin Barron. He, uh, he, of course, played in the ju World Juniors last year. Uh, I got Jordan Spence. Jordan Spence, also uh, a dual citizen. He's uh, Canadian and Japanese, just, just like, like myself. Okay. So local uh, Japanese-Canadian there. Um, I got goaltender uh, Benjamin Goudreau. Uh, this guy sure made the team uh, Cole Perfetti. For viewers, our young viewers, um, I had to do a video on the Lucky Looney because I was like, I, I don't know if kids know, I don't know if kids know what the Lucky Looney means right now. I don't but think so either. Um, viewers, younger viewers may not know that uh, you were part of arguably the best World Junior team uh, to ever be iced in uh, Hockey Canada history. But before we get to that story, we'll hang on to that story for a little bit. Describe a little bit what it's like uh, representing your country. Um, that one was overseas, I believe. So when you're overseas and you're playing for Canada and you put on that Maple Leaf, uh, explain to those uh, who won't get a chance to do it uh, what it's like. Oh, it's, there's not many words that actually can describe, you know, representing your country. It's, you know, there's just such a sense of honor and pride. Um, you know that growing up, you watch 20, 23 young men put on the Canadian sweater year after year, and and they basically try to carry out the, the hopes and dreams of, of a nation uh, at the World Junior uh, Tournament. And it, it's just so special. It, it's almost surreal. Um, Thinking back, you know, there's certain memories that you do have, obviously with 04 and, and kind of like what you touched on is with uh, Marc-Andre Fleury and, and Braden Coburn. Um, but there was a series of flute goals in that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There was a Patrick O'Sullivan shot that rolled over Fleury's chest and up and into the back. That one was a flute goal. There was, you know, Fleury trying to clear the puck and, and I think nine times out of 10, he probably just clears that to the corner and it's nothing, but he tries to clear it up the middle and Braden Coburn, who just retired actually, because he's so tall, it hit him right kind of in the neck collarbone area and went in our neck. You know, like we can talk about all the disappointment in that game and, and the flute goals. Like the American team was really deep. They were good. Um, it, it was, I, I think it just set the tone for the following year. If, if anything, because um, I don't know if we would have had the exact same attitude walking in the following year if we would have won that uh, that tournament. Well, let's let's get on to 2005. But before we do, let's uh, let's hit up another round of cards here. So uh, tell me your next four. Who else do you got in your uh, your pack there? I got Philip Tomasino, Dawson Mercer, New Jersey Devil player, current 
former OHA hockey player, OHA Edmonton that is, Caden yes. Gooley, Captain Canada. This one right here just got traded to the Edmonton Oil Kings in a massive deal. <laughs> nice. I like this one. And then, oh, the double, Dawson Mercer. So I think this one might be up for some trades here. <laughs> you got some doubles up. <laughs> well, I'll dive into my next four. Uh, all right, I got uh, Jacob Pelletier. All right, I got Guillaume Richard, defenseman. Justin Barron, rounded off. I got uh, Olin Zellweger, who I think made the team. So this is his first, uh, I believe his first uh, World Junior Championships this year at Edmonton. Before we get into 2005, uh, when's, uh, when's the last time you've uh, cracked open a pack of cards? Has it been a while? Oh, it's been a while. It has. This is uh, this is exciting though. Yeah. Do you remember like were you a big card guy when you were a kid or? Um, I had a couple buddies that were big time card guys. Um, I collected for a little bit, and by a little bit I mean a couple months, and then my attention just went elsewhere. I think I was too busy trying to play hockey. Yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> did, did you do you have a card? I don't actually know. Do you have? A I card? do have a card, actually. Um, nice. I think I've got a few stuff kicking around somewhere. Here's all my hockey cards. Oh, nice. Okay, so you got yeah. uh, you got some Oilers. Then there's nice. my rookie card. Nice. Yeah, and then here's Wild. the other. That's the other rookie card right there. Let's get into 2005. So, like I kind of alluded to earlier, um, it was the best team ever assembled. Uh, for a world, world Junior Tournament. Part of that due to the NHL lockout, you had a, a ton of stars, uh, you know, Crosby, yourself, of, of course, <laughs> uh, on that team. Um, so yeah, you mentioned in 2004, you know, obviously in Canada, it's gold or nothing. So obviously the silver is a little bit of a, a, a sore spot, but when you go into 2005, I mean, you guys just, just plowed through teams. It wasn't even close. And uh, you, you talk about, the, the mentality and the mindset going into that tournament, having that experience in 04. So speak a little bit to that and how it how it helped you in 2005. Um, you know, like we, we got a new coach, uh, Brent Sutter that year. Um, he obviously is a no nonsense guy. He is, uh, he's very much business. It's, it's all business. Um, so I think he really set the tone, but then there was just a number of, you know, guys that were, that were unhappy that they lost. Um, we had a big time returning cast of players. Um, and then we got additions like um, Shea Weber and additions like Patrice Bergeron. And guys, like when you're adding guys like that to your roster, like it just, it elevates it so much more. And um, we walked in and we kind of figured we weren't going to, we were going to hold no, take no prisoners, essentially what the motto was. And, uh, you know, we, we tried to, play fast and we tried to play physical and I, and I think we accomplished that it was uh it was a fun tournament you gotta think that when you're walking around with a gold medal that uh for a guy like Colburn and, and for you being on the 04 team it's it's that much more sweeter oh yeah it was it was very special you know what made it was what made it better was the fact that we we're in North Dakota and it's so close to Canada and, and basically I felt like almost all of Winnipeg just emptied out the city and they came straight down to North Dakota and that building was sold out every single game for us and it was like it was almost like an NHL feel in the sense that you know they had 13 14,000 fans and they're just absolutely crazy every single time you you came out and you just got so much energy um the minute that you stepped foot on the ice and if you were a team playing against us at the time like I, I, that's a massive home ice advantage and you're probably just like oh my god what is going on because probably two days later you're playing in a building with like 2,000 fans maybe 1,000 so it uh it, it was interesting it was awesome um I'll never forget that experience the final minute and a half of the gold medal game uh, I remember that because we were all so excited on the bench and we had pulled off our gloves and helmets like the guys that were on the ice had a marathon shift of like a minute and a half because they couldn't change because everyone had their gloves and helmets off already. It's a Canadian tradition. It's uh, over the holidays. There's nothing better than watching World Juniors and uh, just the, the hockey playing for it and it's it's uh, cool to be having a guest 
on uh, some pretty uh, prolific teams in uh, Team Canada history. On the show, trading cards with me, Sean Bell, thanks for joining me. And uh, good luck with the baby, and uh, good luck watching the games. Anytime, always a pleasure. Awesome, thanks. That's been Trading Cards with Sean Bell.